India has always been a center of mathematical and political excellence, but India has also been an integral part of the astronomical exploration. This comes from our roots of the interstellar knowledge during the ancient times. The Indian discoveries and knowledge was suppressed due to the dark Indian colonial past. You are watching Dust Files and in this episode, let's talk about the ancient Indian astronomy. There is a lot of evidence that the ancient Indian civilization was using extremely accurate astronomical heliocentric calculations for both Earth and celestial motions, indicating an understanding that the Sun is at the center of the solar system and that Earth is round. Elliptical orbits were also calculated for all moving celestial bodies. Indian have calculated accurately the motion of planets, sunset, sunrises, eclipses, and etc. without using telescopes or any other modern machinery. What Indians calculated thousands of years ago, for example, the wobble of the Earth's axis, which creates the movement called as the precision of equinox, the slowly changing motion that completes one cycle every 25,920 years have only recently been validated by the modern sciences. When we talk of gravity, Newton comes to our mind. But in the text Surya Siddhanta, dated around 400 AD, Bhaskaracharya described objects fall on Earth due to one force. The Earth, planets, constellations, moon, and the sun are held in orbit because of that one force. Bhaskaracharya stated that much of the sky, as the sun's rays illume on all sides, is called the orbit of the sky. Otherwise, the sky is beyond limits and it is impossible to state its measure. The controversial topic of a spherical earth was described in the idea of a spherical earth by the Sanskrit-speaking Aryans in the time when the Greeks believed in the flat earth. The existence of rather advanced concepts like the spherical earth and the cause of seasons were quite clear in the Vedic literature. The phenomenon of dispersion of white light was also mentioned in the Indian Vedic literature. The seven horses which draw the chariot of Surya and the Rig Veda symbolizes the seven colors of light. The velocity of light was calculated by Maxwell in the 19th century, but it was actually determined accurately thousands of years before as mentioned in the Rig Veda. It was further elaborated by Sayana in the 14th century AD in his commentaries on the Rig Veda. The Rig Veda is one of the oldest Indian texts and one of the oldest surviving in the world. Sayana, a Vedic scholar and the Prime Minister in the court of Bukhawan of Vijayanagar Empire in the Karnataka of South India. In his commentaries, he said, It is remembered that the sun transfers 2,202 yojanas in half a nimisha. The word yojana is an ancient unit of length, which defines itself as 8,000 dhanush, which is equivalent to a length of 9.09 miles. A nimisha is an ancient unit of time, which is equal to the fraction 16 by 75. Thus, 2202 yojanas in half a nimisha give us a speed of 189,547 miles per hour. The traditionally known speed of light is 186,281.7 miles per second. The Indians of the 5th century AD calculated the age of Earth as 4.3 billion years. This culture gave us the number zero, the numerals that we use. The so-called Arabics have their roots in India, as do trigonometry, calculus and astronomical calculations. 
Indians have a view that says that the universe is not only billions but trillions of years in age and that we are eternal beings who are simply visiting the material world to have the experience of being here.